body was found in the parking lot of Vaughn's with two bullets in his head. Now, given it's the strip club where you used to work, I have to ask you, Michael, did you do it? Before this murder investigation gains any momentum, I need to know what really happened. Michael's been with me since last night. He, he couldn't have done it. Is it true? <sighs> I was at Jake's memorial. Dante, you know I that. obviously meant except for the memorial. So uh, after the memorial, you came straight back here? I went to Jason's to make sure he was okay. And that's when Brandon beat you up? When Michael was gone? Look, I know you dropped the charges. It's my case. They notified me of any changes. Okay, then why don't you have somebody here guarding Abby? Well, because she dropped the charges. and There's not much I can do to help her at that point. There's no restraining order anymore, and you didn't file follow through on any prior incidents. So you're blaming her? The system let an animal like Brandon back on the streets, and you're blaming her? It's okay, Michael. Okay, do you want to know what I think? I think you went to Jason's, then you came here. You saw what Brandon did to her. You lost it, and you went after him on your own. I mean, the parking lot of Vons, there's a, a pretty high traffic area, especially at night. A lot of people would have seen something. Two gunshots. People would have heard something unless you got a silencer now. <sighs> Michael, I'm not here as a cop. I'm here as your brother. I want to help you. Did you kill Brandon? Quiet. You don't trust the system. I let, it let you down, so did I. But this is going to be different than the Claudia situation, okay? I will protect you, but I need to know what is really going on. If you're so concerned about protecting your brother, why are you the first one to suspect him? Abby, it's okay. No, Brandon had a lot of enemies. They probably just were waiting for him to make bail so someone could kill him. He always was in debt to loan sharks. Anyone in particular? I don't know. I hadn't seen him in more than a year, but I used to find drugs on him all the time. Maybe he ripped off a dealer. Maybe he just got into a fight. He had a lousy temper. Is that why he beat the crap out of you any chance he got? Quit hassling at You see, and that is going to be the reason you are going to be a suspect, because you will protect her no matter what. It's not good for you, Michael, okay? Let me do this for you. Let me help you while I still can, okay? Brandon's dead. The guy who shot him is a hero. That's all I can tell you. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, you let me know if you change your mind. And you should get your alibi straight. You're making him look pretty guilty. this your fault. Look, Brandon was an animal. Okay, and he got what he deserves. I, I just, I thought I was over this. I really did. I left Brandon. You know, I woke up one morning covered in bruises. Way worse than these. He was still a sleeper or passed out. I didn't know. I didn't care. I just realized that I had to save my own life, so I threw a few things in a bag. I grabbed whatever cash I could find, and I walked to the bus station. I bought a ticket to Port Charles because I couldn't afford a fare to Canada. And I sat there and I stared out the window and I promised myself I was going to have a better life. Get an education, get a decent job. But most of all, I promised that I was never going to let anyone treat me the way Brandon did again. Yeah, you know what, Abby, that took a lot of courage. <sighs> then Brandon showed up. I fell back right into my old patterns. Denying how d dangerous he was, telling myself that he would just give up and go away. <sighs> that night that he tried to rape me. There was a moment where I actually believed that I could talk him down. I did it again tonight, you know, he, he tried to kiss me and when, when I shoved him off of me, I, you know, he just lost it. Everything happened exactly the way you said it would. Dropping the charges against Brandon gave him permission to come back for me. You know how you always ask me how therapy was? And I say something positive and I, and I change the subject. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what I talk about in therapy with my therapist all the time is I... I have to stop blaming myself.
myself for being stupid and, and, and weak and not fighting back hard enough. Look, Michael, what Carter did to you isn't your fault. I'm, I'm starting to believe that. Look, Abby, you need to believe that, too. Okay? Look, Brandon was sick and evil, and he hurt you. He tore you down, but you were strong enough to break free. And you are not to blame for what he did to you. And, and you are definitely not to blame for his death. I don't care that he's dead. I care that you're going to be the one to blame for it. Know that you have a gun? Just Jason and Sam. No one else? Not that I'm aware of. You need to get rid of it. Especially now. Dante's not going to try and pin Brandon's murder on me. He's trying to help me. Look, Dante has a conflict of interest. As soon as you're named a suspect, he's going to be taken off the case. Carrying a gun is a parole violation, Michael. Any other cop will pull you in for that. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Let me. Okay, I don't want you to even risk taking it out of here. Look, I got the gun. I decided to carry it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to let you incriminate yourself. You're in this mess because of me. You would have never even been involved with Brandon if it weren't for me, Michael. Look. Okay. If Brandon didn't abuse you, you wouldn't have gotten on that bus to Port Charles. You wouldn't have worked at Vons, you wouldn't have met Sam, you wouldn't have met me. Maybe you just, you had to go through all that garbage to be the person that you are. And the person that saved me. Look, I, I was completely alone before I met you. It didn't matter how many people loved me or how badly they wanted to help. I couldn't tell them what happened to me. I couldn't tell them how I felt. Because I knew that they wouldn't understand. Not like you. It is easy to care for you, Michael. It is the most natural thing in the world for me. You know, I, I think that something really bad would have happened to me if I didn't know you. ex-boyfriend's dead in a parking lot. That's obviously really bad, but I, I, I can deal with it. Whatever happens, I can deal with it. Because I am stronger inside because of you. Abby, I love you. Look, I don't want you saying things that I you know feel up. that you hate when I say it, but it's true. Okay, first, I don't hate when you say that you love me. It's just that I want to remind you that you're 19, and things can change. Well, not the way that I feel about you. Look, we can have this conversation another time. I mean, right now, we have to face the facts. Brandon is dead. You're a suspect. You need an alibi. Well, I can say I was here with you. Michael, I wasn't here. I was out looking for you. Stupid impulse for me to lie for you. The quickest way to get yourself incriminated is by giving a false statement that could be disproved. Look, you don't need to cover for me, okay? It's... <sighs> Look, even if it got to that point when they bring me in for questioning, my family has Diane Miller on retainer. And she's a great lawyer, and every single cop in the PCPD is terrified of Okay, but even the greatest lawyer loses sometimes. Is that a nice way of saying she's not good enough to keep me out of Pentonville? You just can't risk that happening again. Look, you want to know why I went to prison? I confessed. When everybody but Dante was begging me not to, it was looking like my dad was going to get convicted and I didn't want him to go to prison for something that I did. You have this instinct to protect people. It's a beautiful thing, Michael. But it scares me because you never seem to think about protecting yourself. Yeah. Bad time? Kind of in the middle of something. Brandon Lowell? What about him? Dante showed up on my doorstep a few minutes ago to inform me that he'd been shot, dead, in Vaughn's parking lot. Why would Dante come to you? Because I own the club. Maybe he's looking for some obscure reason as to why I'd want him dead. Look, if you're thinking that Dante's gonna try and set you up, that's not gonna happen. I'm not worried about me, Michael. I'm worried about you. This is gonna get real bad real fast. You're gonna need some help. You're trying to help, but what, what exactly could you do? I can talk to the girls and the staff, make sure everybody's on the same page about what they saw or didn't see. 
I can talk to any witnesses that were on my property, take care of them too. If there's anything you guys need said or not said, consider it done. Okay, why are you being so helpful? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I feel partly responsible for what happened. I know that Brandon had been roughing you up for quite some time and I should have been the one to shut him down. If there's anything you need, you let me know. Okay, I will. Thanks. You take care of yourself. What do you think that was about? I don't know. But that is the second time Johnny Zakar has gone out of his way to help us. I know. Now I've got you in even deeper. Look, Abby, we've been dancing around the most important question all night. Why haven't you asked me if I killed Brandon? Or do you think you already know the answer? 